Hello everybody, welcome to the video. My channel name is College Football Frenzy and today I'm going to be talking about the Michigan Wolverines 2020 football schedule. The Wolverines last year went 9-3 and during the regular season and they lost their bowl game against Alabama in the Citrus Bowl. It wasn't a great year, it was definitely a step back from the year before, but this upcoming year, they've got a lot of talent coming back and they're going to be looking to bounce back. They are ob obviously losing some key players, most notably quarterback Ch Ch Shea Patterson, he is leaving. You can kind of look at that in a good way or a bad way. You know, Joe Milton probably is going to be the starter, there are, there are other options as well, but you can look at, you can, again, you can look at it at it at, in a good or bad way because Shea Patterson last year he was pretty average he was great in 2018 he was definitely not that great last year so you can say it's a good thing or you could say it's not a great thing uh, but they're losing him uh, some weapons at the wide receiver core they're going to be leaving some are staying and I believe the run game is going to be just the same with uh, Hassan Haskins and um, Charbonnet so overall, I think there's a lot of weapons coming back, just mainly the big loss of Shea Patterson. Uh, but a pretty good recruiting class. It's in the top 15, not nearly as good as Ohio State's, but still, it's a, it's a pretty good recruiting class. So I'm going to break down their schedule, uh, give a game-by-game -game prediction. And at the end of the video, I'll give my overall schedule prediction. All right, so number one, at Washington. So a lot of people are saying this is a loss. Now, I'm, I know for a fact Harbaugh has not done well on the road week one against out-of-conference teams. You look at his history at Michigan, Utah, I believe that was his first year there. Uh, they, lost to, they lost to Utah on the road. Then they lost at Notre Dame in 2018 on the road. So they don't do well week one in road games. However, Washington is losing Hall of Fame head coach Chris Peterson, and they're also losing th their quarterback, Jacob Eason. Those were the reasons why they were decent last year, and now they're losing those two g guys. And, you know, I don't think they're going to be as good as they were last year. And they only won, they only went around like 7-5 and five last year, I think. So I don't think Washington's going to be extremely good this year. I will say they have a top 15 recruiting class, so that definitely helps. But it might be a transition year. Uh, for the Huskies right now. So I'm taking the Wolverines to go into Washington and get the W. I will say it's a very tough place to play. One of the toughest environments to play in college football. Uh, besides from Oregon, maybe the toughest place to play in all of the Pac-12. So it's definitely not going to be an easy crowd atmosphere. Uh, but Michigan is definitely the more talented team. Two Ball State should be easy, no trouble there. So 2-0. Three, Arkansas State should be easy, no trouble there. Now, luckily for them, this is where the tough stretch starts, but luckily for them, they get the two hardest games in this tough stretch at home. Wisconsin and Penn State, which were both losses last year. Michigan, besides from losing to Ohio State, has done very well against or very well at home against Big Ten teams. They do not lose much inside the Big Ten in the big house. I'm going to take Michigan to win comfortably here against Wisconsin. Wisconsin, you know, they're losing Jonathan Taylor, their best player. I don't think their offense is going to be very good. Jack Cohen's still there, but I don't think it's going to be very productive. Their defense should be a top five defense in the nation, again. But I just don't feel like their offense is going to be great. And, you know, that just a tough crowd to play against. I think Michigan gets revenge big time and beats Wisconsin. That'll be a big resume booster and win. Five, Penn State. So this is a even more interesting game, East Division game. So Michigan last year barely lost to Penn State. Uh, I believe it, it was 28 to 21 the final score. Uh, Michigan, Michigan had one lot last shot with a couple of minutes left to go, and uh, Shea Patterson threw to a receiver, and the receiver just dropped the ball. Uh, so you know Michigan came close to sending that one to overtime, but they just lost. They did play some of their best football all year though in that Penn State game. They put up a great fight in the whiteout. And this time at home, you look at Penn State, they're almost as talented as they were last year. I will say losing K.J. Hamler hurts a lot. Uh, but Michigan, with the home crowd, with, in my opinion, just as good, good as a recruiting class as Penn State's, I think Michigan's going to win at home here in the big house. All right, so start out 5-0. and Six at Michigan State. Michigan likes to refer to them as the little brother you know, it's 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 a pretty big rivalry, not their primary rival, but it is a big rival 
rivalry. Uh, so I think this game, you know, I'm looking at Michigan State this year. They don't look very good, you know. Just they were very, they weren't very good last year. They were six and six, losing Mark D'Antonio, one of the best coaches of this era. Uh, that's gonna hurt quite a lot, you know. Mel Tucker, I'm not, nothing against him, but he's not the same as Mark D'Antonio, you know. Just overall, nothing about Michigan State really stacks up well against Michigan. Michigan is just overall a much more talented team, better recruiting class. The only thing Michigan State has is the home field advantage. I think Michigan wins. Harbaugh actually has been much better uh, against Michigan State in Michigan at Michigan State in East Lansing than he has at home against Michigan State. So, you know, I think they'll win this one comfortably. 7 at Minnesota. Here's the first slip up. I think Minnesota is going to be a pretty good team next year. They should do, they should be just as good as they were last year. Their schedule's manageable when you when you look at it. I mean, their two losses came to Iowa and Wisconsin. I think both those teams are going to going to be a little bit worse next season. So Minnesota, I think, is just going to be as good as they were last year. They've got plenty of talent with Tanner Morgan at the quarterback position. They've got guys like Rashad Bateman, uh, you know, Muhammad Ibrahim, I believe, is still there as well at the running back position. So they have they have a lot of talent there at Minnesota and a great coach with P.J. Fleck. So I think Minnesota will be a very good team next year. Non-easy place to play. It is a rivalry game, the battle for the little brown jug, I believe it's called. Uh, you know, so I think Michigan could, can put up a great fight. This could be a game day location. I think it could be close, but I'm taking Minnesota to hand Michigan their first loss. Purdue should be an easy one, no trouble there. Nine bye week. All right, great time to have the bye week, especially considering. I mean, they actually get like three straight bye weeks in a row. You look at it, bye week, Maryland, Rutgers. Those are three bye weeks. So Maryland, Rutgers, obvious wins. Indiana, they always play Indiana right before Ohio State. You know, Indiana has given them, tr has given them trouble sometimes in the past. You know, they've made it interesting. Not last year, but a couple of years ago they did, I think. Uh, so, it could, you know, it could be a close game. I think Indiana is definitely on the rise. They're pretty good. You know, they have a tough schedule next year, so schedule-wise, they might not be great. Uh, but they should be, they should be a pretty good team talent-wise. So I think they can at least give Michigan a little bit of a challenge. I'm taking the Wolverines, of course, but you know, they could give them a little bit of a challenge. All right, so Michigan starts out ten and one. That's great, right? That's great because they're going to be in the top ten. They're going to be competing for the Big Ten East. If they were to win that last game, they would win the Big Ten East. The only problem is they're not going to win that game. They're probably going to get crushed in that game because it's Ohio State. You know, listen, it's it's just a fact. Whether you're a Michigan fan or an Ohio State fan or neutral. Ohio State's going to beat Michigan next year. It just is what it is. I, I don't see anything to change it. Ryan Day is just has done an incredible job so far at Michigan. Plenty of talent, a great recruiting class for the Buckeyes, and it looks like it's going to stay that way over the years. Uh, you know, plenty. You know, Justin Fields at quarterback definitely better than Joe Milton or whoever they have. They have plenty of weapons at the wide receiver core. The one little this the one little problem is the defense, but even that should be fine you know they're just losing a lot of guys but overall better recruiting class better ta better experience talent better coaching and most of all it's in the horseshoe very tough place to play michigan michigan at home and even on the road has not had success during the harbor era against ohio state i mean you know it's it's been crazy i think the streak is eight now and it's it's probably going to be nine. That would be my guess. I think I think it's going to go on quite a lot before Michigan gets that first win. I just don't see it happening under Ryan Day. I think a lot of Buckeye fans feel pretty good um, about him being the head coach because he's done a great job so far. Uh, so, you know, I'm taking the Buckeyes by a comfortable margin here. You know, I'm not, I'm not trying to be biased in this one. It's just it is what it is. They're, they're going to lose to Ohio State. So overall, I have the Wolverines at 10-2, and two, and I don't think that, that that's that bad. They're improving one game overall with only two losses. I think Minnesota will be close. I think Ohio State will be a blowout. Uh, so, you know, it's not terrible. I don't, you know, it, it is what it is. Uh, by the way, Ohio State's meant to be an away game. I'm sorry about that. It's meant to have an away game symbol next to it. Uh, but yeah, it's, it's in the horseshoe, just a very tough place to play. Uh, so we'll see how it goes, but I don't. I really don't think they're going to have much success. Uh, so, you know, again, 10-2, and two, 
it's it's nothing to be ashamed of. It's a pretty good record for Michigan, in my opinion, under Harbaugh. I don't think Harbaugh's going to get it done uh, against Ohio State, but still, you know, 10-2 and two would at least keep him in for probably another year or two. That would be a pretty good record I think Michigan would be accept- accepting of, and it probably could get them maybe to a New Year's Six Bowl game or at least a Citrus Bowl again, so it would get them to a pretty good bowl game overall. But I just, you know, I don't think they'll beat Ohio State. I just don't see it happening uh, so yeah, overall, I have them at 10 and 2. Uh, but that is it for now, guys. Thank you for joining in. Please make sure to like and subscribe and check out all my other videos.